I'm Sue Grimshaw and this is Borders True Romance. Actually, no, I'm not Sue Grimshaw. I'm not tall, blonde, and statuesque. I'm actually Joss Ware, and I'm sitting here today with my great friend, Julie James, who writes fabulous contemporary romances. They're, they're just so witty and so fun. She writes about really fun, um, smart women who are Chicago lawyers, and she drove in from Chicago to be here in Ann Arbor with me this morning uh, to talk about her new book. So how was the drive? It was great. It wasn't bad. No. About how long? About four hours, just sort of a straight shot. So it was good. And I'm, I'm enjoying Ann Arbor um, a lot, what I've seen so far. It's a so. great town. It is a great town. <laughs> I love it. It is. Uh, but you write about lawyers from Chicago. Everything mm -hmm. is very Chicago oriented. All of your books, you, you obviously you know Chicago well, mm -hmm. grew up there. You know what it's like to be a lawyer. Mm -hmm. Are you a lawyer? Yes. Well, I, uh, well, I guess you're always a lawyer once you become mm -hmm. a lawyer. But um, I don't practice law anymore now. I do write full time. Um, but I practiced law at a large law firm in Chicago for six years. Um, I specialized in employment discrimination defense, so um, sexual harassment, race discrimination, gender discrimination, which interestingly is what um, the specialization that two of my heroines um, have had in my book. So write what you know, they say. So um, yeah, that's what I did. And then um, I stopped practicing law, I think about three years ago, um, and have been writing full time ever since. Well, it's funny you mention that because this was the this is your first book, Just yes. the Sexiest Man Alive, mm -hmm. and you have a heroine who is practicing uh, discrimination, anti-discrimination yes. law, and she yes. meets up with the hot, hottest Hollywood actor ever, Just yes. the Sexiest Man Alive. He could have been on the was he on the cover of People in your three book? Three times, three I, time People magazine's uh, Sexiest Man Alive. So now I have to ask you, mm -hmm. um, who <laughs> did you have in mind when you when you wrote this book as Just the Sexiest Man Alive? You got you had to have had somebody in mind. Well, a lot of people ask me that. So who did you think? Well, I gave it a lot of thought, and I thought that um, as far as looks and uh, sort of, you know, experience and so on, it might have been like Brad Pitt, mm -hmm. but as far as the personality of the womanizer and never settling down, I was thinking George Clooney. Mm -hmm. So I wasn't sure which one, and then of course, I'm a personal fan of Johnny Depp, mm -hmm. but he didn't really fit either one of those. Right. So right. Well, there's um, sort of three parts to the answer to that question. You got two of them, right? <laughs> All right, good. Um, the truth is I based Jason, the hero of the book, on um, Cary Grant, actually. Um, sort of that uh, man who can walk into a room and really own it um, and very confident and everything. But um, being a celebrity was very different back then than it is now, um, dealing with the paparazzi and the tabloids and everything. So I did need somebody that had sort of the star power of like a Brad Pitt. So I did use a little bit of him as well. Um, but what's funny is that everybody thinks the book is, or that the hero is based on um, George Clooney. So I've kind of come up with this equation that Cary Grant plus Brad Pitt equals George Clooney, <laughs> um, which I think actually does make sense. So yeah, so, yeah. it does. Mm -hmm. I like it. Well, I really enjoyed the book. It was Thank a you. lot of fun. And uh, your second one too, Practice Makes Perfect, mm -hmm. uh, that was just um, named as one of the books of the year by book list. Book list, and that was fun. Two two romantic attorneys. fiction, top, the top romantic, romantic fiction. fiction. Yes, yeah, that's good enough for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, two mm -hmm. attorneys kind of battling for partnership a yes. uh, lot of a um, lot of sexual tension gotta like that yes a lot of the two of them forms. have um, worked at their firm together for eight years and they both assume that they were gonna make partner um, and they are surprised to learn that only one of them is going to make it and they have to sort of fight it out for that one partnership spot and since there's been a lot of animosity between the two of them over the years that only increases as they have to sort of fight for that and um, lots of hijinks ensue. and you're not gonna tell us how it ends with the partnership no no uh, but your third book uh, goes in a little bit of a different route. You've got a guy with a yes. gun. Yes, I did. This is the first time I did a suspense subplot. It is only a subplot. The book overall is lighter in tone, um, but there is sort of a mystery part to that, and um, it's the first time I did that, which was interesting. That was a little bit tricky for me at times to figure out um, how to balance humor and sort of the suspense part, when to be funny, when it's you know, you can't be funny. Um, but I'd say overall it's not heavy suspense. The the suspense subplot is just sort of the setup that drives the hero and heroine and together. And what's the name of the book again? Something About You. And it's coming? March 2nd. March 2nd. Mm -hmm. Something About You, March 2nd. Mm -hmm. So what are you reading now? What do you like to read? Uh, you know, a little bit of everything. I, um, I read a mixture of both literary fiction and romantic fiction. Um, I am currently reading, we have it, um, I'm a little bit behind on this one because I know that a bunch of people have already read this one, but um, we are reading this one from my book club, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. And um, I fought, and I said I was not going to like this one because everybody raved about this book. And I'm like, well, I'm going to be different. I'm not going to like it. Um, love it. Love it. It is good. There's I'm a reason almost people are done. raving about it. Yeah, definitely. Um, and um, so that's what I'm reading now. What I'm um, looking forward to reading next in my pile, I think, is um, 
released by Beth Carey. She is another Chicago author and a good friend, a wonderful person. Um, and I love that she sets her books in Chicago. Um, and you sort of get a feel for this um, for the city, which obviously appeals to me. And she writes, I would say, hot contemporary is how I would describe her. So um, this is her latest one. I'm looking forward to that. And then, like many people, um, Nalini sings Archangel's Kiss, um, the sequel to uh, Angel's Blood. And um, I love the first one. Really, really enjoyed Angel's Blood. And so I'm, I'm looking forward to reading this one as well. So that is what is on my agenda. And, of course, Where's your second one? This is, I want to make sure I get these right. <laughs> well, here's the first, this is the first one, but we've already, yeah, that's well, already I've up. read Beyond the Night and loved it, loved it. Um, just um, was amazed by the world building, um, really thought it was original and fresh, and really, honestly, not just something I haven't seen in romance, but um, haven't seen this sort of um, post-apocalyptic setting before. Thank I thought you. it was great. Yes. Glad you enjoyed it. Speaking of authors, mm -hmm. are, you, are you going to rom-con? Do you know about rom com? I'm just hearing about it. Yes, um, I'm definitely. I'm, I'm hoping to. Um, I'm definitely hoping to make that work. Um, excited about it. Um, I know they're having their awards. Um, yes, which and, is very exciting. And they're doing um, photo ops, and they're doing. There's a murder party, and um, Anna Campbell's going to be there. Janine Frost, mm -hmm. Julia Quinn. Mm -hmm. I think Nalini Singh is going to be there. As we well. might have to go and rub elbows with them. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> definitely, <laughs> definitely. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's in. Chic it's no. It's in Colorado. Denver. It's in Denver. The mm -hmm. date's uh, July 9th? 9th to the 11th, I think it is. July mm -hmm. 9th to the 11th, and I think there's more information on the website, but it uh, should be a lot of fun. I'd yes. love if we could go and, mm -hmm. and sign books and, yeah. and dress up and do, mm -hmm. do um, parties. That'd be a lot of fun. Right. We will be there. It's well, always nice to get around other authors and um, sort of, you know, swap stories and find out what they're writing and get sometimes the inside scoop on what your favorite authors are. The story behind are. the story, yeah. 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 Well, thanks for coming out, Julie, mm -hmm. for driving all the way. I'm glad you didn't have any snow like they did out east a couple right. weeks ago. So mm -hmm. um, hopefully I'll see you at RomCon yes, in yes, Denver. Yes, Safe yes. trip back. Yes, thanks, thank you. Julie.